Hey everybody, this is Josh. Welcome back once again to Mountain Man Menu. Today we're going to be making pretzel dogs. So let's get ready. All right, what we're going to need for this, we're going to need some bread flour. We're going to need some all beef or chicken and pork, whichever kind of hot dogs you want. We're going to need one egg. We're going to need some kosher salt, some butter, some instant yeast, and some sugar. All right, the first ingredient that we're going to have to add in here to this, we're going to take us a bowl. We're going to put one tablespoon of granulated sugar in the bottom of it. And then right on top of that, we're going to add one tablespoon of the instant yeast. And right on top of that yeast and sugar, we're going to add one and one half cups of slightly above room temperature water. You don't want it to be too cold or that's going to kick that yeast into productivity. You don't want it too hot because it's going to kill the yeast. Remember, yeast is alive, folks. It's like a movie monster or something. You take it and you whisk it all together there just gently. Make sure the sugar is incorporated. Dissolve it a little bit, get the yeast going, moving around. Now we're gonna sit here, we're gonna wait, we're gonna wait on that to bloom. Alright, now that we've got our yeast good and frothy and bloomed, we're gonna pour that into the stand mixer. Now if you don't have a stand mixer, you can just do this in a regular bowl, stir it for your hands. But I got me a KitchenAid, we're gonna use this. Take four and a half cups of flour, bread flour, like I said, dump it right in there like that. And we'll take about two tablespoons of butter, dump that right in there with it. And attach our dough hook, drop it down in there, lock them in place. We're going to let that go on a low until everything is nice and incorporated. And we got us a smooth and elastic dough. Kick it up just a little bit, get this stuff going. I'm on my lunch break and I got about 10 minutes left, so we got to got to pump this up. All right, that looks like that's what we're looking for, folks. Oh yeah, nice smooth, soft dough. Look at that, nice and elastic, looking real good. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take our hook off of here. Take a little bit of that spray right there. I'm gonna drop them right back down inside of it. I'm going to place this towel, clean dish towel, right over top of it like that. We're going to let that rest, let the, let the dough rise for a good bit. And once that's done rising, we'll be back and we'll make us some pretzel dogs. Alrighty guys, it's been about an hour. We'll go ahead and check out the dough, see how we're looking. And man, oh man, look at that. It's way more than doubled in size. That is huge huge amount of dough and you know what we got to do to that we got to give it one of them right there gotta smack it down let it know who's boss baby all right guys now that we got that out i'm gonna put it on a clean surface my stove is pretty clean i'm just gonna fold it over a couple of times make sure everything's looking pretty and what we're gonna do now we're gonna divide this bad boy up So we got our eight dough balls there. I'm going to take each one, we'll roll them out into a snake, just like you used to do Play-Doh back in the day, folks. Everybody used to play Play-Doh, right? Best way to do it is start in the middle, work your way out, just like that. 
Not too hard, not too soft. Just like boys to men. Just work your way outward while rolling to make you snakes. Alright, now what we're going to be doing, we're going to take our, I got the Oscar Mayer Angus bun length wingers. That's what we're going to be turning into our uh, pretzel dogs today. Open these bad boys up. First thing you're going to do, you're going to grab one of your snakes and start wrapping it around it. Now the first, the first loop, you want to go over top. Take it around like that. Try to keep it as close, if not almost right up on top of the other one as possible. And some of these ain't gonna look perfect. They'll be all right though. You take that one, take that piece right there, and just tuck it a little bit like that. So that way it'll hold together, just like that. Now we're gonna take our lined baking sheet here. Just give it a little spray that way it don't stick because they got to come back off here before they bake. There's another important step. We're just getting this out of the way first. Take a look at that there guys. We got them all wrapped up. We got them all in the in the mummies there, the pretzel mummies. And I'm pretty sure you're probably thinking, oh now we're gonna put the salt on it, right? No. There's a whole nother step that is of vital importance to the pretzel making process. And if you don't do this, it ain't a pretzel, guys. Just hold tight and we'll get going on. Now alright guys, for everyone that has never made a pretzel before, this might look a little bit confusing, but what we have here is 10 cups of water. We're going to get it up to a rolling boil. We are adding one half cup of bisodium carbonate or baking soda, if you will. We're going to let that dissolve, get that up to a rolling boil, and I'll show you what we got to do after that. Alrighty, y'all, we are up to a rolling boil, if you can't tell. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our tongs, we're going to pick up our pretzel dog and I'll drop it right in there and we're gonna let it sit for 30 seconds no more no less 30 seconds in that beautiful hot tub jacuzzi of baking soda make sure it's getting covered all the way around move it around a little bit if you got to just be gentle like with it don't be a ripping and a tearing or anything here just pick just kind of shove it a little bit with the sides of them tongs there's 30 seconds guys pick it back up put it right back on the pan that's 30 seconds that's one of them down i got seven to go and i'll be back when i'm done with them all right guys now the next step we gotta make us an egg wash what i got in here is i got one egg and a tablespoon of water we're just gonna mix that up real good get it all over the stove because why not it's my it's my house i'll clean it it's like I'll clean all that residual baking soda that came out of the steam there. Pick it up real good like, like that. Alright. Now that you got that, we're going to brush it on the pretzel dogs. Just like that. It's going to make it shine, guys. It's also going to help the salt stick to it. Coat every one of them generously with that egg wash. There we go. Now we're going to take our kosher salt. We're going to put a little bit in our hands there. We're just going to give a little sprinkling on top.
Would you just look at that? Those look beautiful. All right, guys, what we're going to do, we're going to take these. We're going to put them in this 450 degree oven for about 12 minutes. Let them cook up. And once them's done, we'll get them out, let them cool down. We'll give a taste test. In the meantime, I'm going to clean this stove. All righty, guys, it's been 12 minutes. We're going to pull them out of the oven and take a look. Holy hell, guys. Oh man, look at that. I'll let these cool off and take us a taste test. Alrighty guys, take a look at that. I got me some delicious French's mustard on that bad boy. It smells amazing. Mmm. God, guys, that is amazing. That tastes, that tastes better than that stuff they sell down there at the mall, I'll tell you that. Seriously, that is delicious. Mm. All right, I'm gonna put that down so I can cough. Guys, if you like what I'm doing here, give me a big old thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you want to see me cook next. Something like that. Subscribe to the channel. All that. But once again, this is Josh here from Mountain Man Menu. I love y'all. I mean it. We'll see you next time.